Welcome back to another video, another episode of Franklin's Garage and Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Uh, this is part two. Uh, yesterday we went and did suspension, paint, bodywork, made it look not bad, you know, in my opinion. It's a nice looking car. The Bolt Roulette. I believe it's a standard edition. Never seen anything besides the six cylinder, which is the F mill. And on this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the motor for it. As you can tell by the hole in the hood, we're going to be putting a supercharged OHV V8 in it. So, let's get started. First off, I believe we need to buy the parts. We'll hit car parts. We'll look through the list here. Let's see what we need. Oh, we need the scoop. And we also need the cam gear. And I'm not sh Oh wait, we don't need that. We need to clip these, two of them. We need the crankshaft. We need the crankshaft pulley V8 OHV. Only need one. We need three of these. We need the block. That's most important. Without that, you can't really build anything. And we scroll through the list here. We need the valve covers, which A is here, and B is all the way at the other end. Uh, fuel tank should already be in it from when we did the suspension because that's when I do the uh, fuel tank and I put the exhaust on and we're going to keep cruising through uh, I need the oil filter which is right here oil pan 8 piston rings I don't know if I got that but we'll buy that anyway I need 16 rocker arms man that's a lot of rocker arms we need the fan. Eight of these bad boys. We need the belt. We need the other belt. And we need the supercharger belt. We need the pulley for the supercharger because you try to use regular water pump one. It will not work. We need the timing chain. I think I already have one of these, but and we'll buy another one just in case. And we need the push rods. Sixteen of these to match the rockers. One per lifter. Thank God we ain't got to put lifters in this motor, I tell you. Uh, I think I... Uh, Alright, now we go over here. Need to buy the release bearing. Drive shaft. I don't think I have one. And we need to buy the tranny. And come over here. And now we buy our performance parts. Wish we could paint the carbs like every, almost everything else. Two heads. Now the dizzy. Many times I've forgotten to buy this rotor, go to put it all together, and it's like, hey, what's going on here? Uh, piston. Need eight of these bad boys. Pump. V8 OHV, V8 OHV. Two of these. Eight of these. One, two, all right, to paint shop we go. Open. Thank you. My nice shiny paint shop, the way it should be, nice and clean. Yeah. The floor in the shop, here, and I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure the dyno is the same. Just gives it a nice, cleaner, brighter look when the sun's in. You know, it's always sunny in Arizona. Alright, we're going to wait on that. I think we need to sell some, or clear our inventory of parts that are going to take up space. Ooh, had a few things in there. Alright, clip B. Uh, let's do the block first. That would be the color of the car. 
Oh shit, it doesn't look too bad. Mm, not sure if I'm gonna do that the because I did the car that green and the white. So I'm not sure what I wanna do, the scoop or the clips yet, so we'll wait. These can go white right there, see? <laughs> Put them gold. That's supposed to be chrome. We put it on wheels. Mm, it's a bright, shiny chrome, but put on certain other parts, and it just looks like looks like stock color with a little bit of a shine to it. Uh, let's see where we're we going here. Where we're we going? Distributor. We got chrome. The cap will go black. The wires will go black. Uh, yeah. Not quite the same color, but maybe it'll match the car. This can go white. I don't bother painting these heads for this for the V8 OHV because you don't see them anyway. It just paints where the push rods and rockers go, and you can't see it anyway. So, all right, oil filter. Kind of like that. I also like the white and the black, so we'll do the white. Alright, oil pan. White. And now, actually, I might do the distributor. This color right here. The color of the car itself. The fan, let's see what it would look like. White? Yeah. Dang, that's bright. Let's see, I'm going to do the valve covers white. So I'll do the teal. I can do the scoop white actually. Yeah. And I'll do these this color. What else needs to be color coordinated here? This. I wish it didn't have all those gray specks in it. Looks so much better. I got I got the color white to turn out once where I didn't have those specks. But it is what it is. What the oh wait. Scared me there. I do have that color. That's good to know. Here you go, I'll just show you real quick. See? You don't see nothing when you got the valve cover on it. So, that's why I don't even bother painting it. Alright, time to do... Wait a minute here, what color? Oh, it's that. Actually, maybe we'll do the distributor white. Since the intake and the block are that tealy blue. Everything else I think is done. Yep. So now what we'll do is we'll paint the distributor cap and the wires. That actually works out too because I did the clips, the blue, distributor white, and the cap black. So Kind of makes it look a little bit more authentic. It would look better if I did these flat, but or in the game matte black. All right, to the engine shop we go. Just 
supercharged V8 OHV right there. I always start my engines upside down because I always put the crank and the pistons in from the bottom. Put the caps on, flip it over and build the rest of it. detail into this game. It's kind of nice actually. However, I wish there was an option to turn off the rusted stuck bolts or you know where you gotta use the spray or you leave it on. But it is what it is. Once we finish up these rod caps, putting them on, then the oil pan can go on and we'll put the filter on. Before I rotate the motor, I'm going to put the flywheel and clutch assembly on. Oh yeah, there we go. See, because I did the cross member, the front cross member in the car, it's just blue. I couldn't really do the oil pan blue because then it just doesn't look right. It's just too much of the same color in one area. So that's why what I do is I do the block this color and I do the oil pan the opposite color of whatever the cross member is. Alright, now we're going to flip the motor. Hop back on. Back there. Um, put the power steering pump on. And maybe I should have did that white actually. This I wish I could paint. That'd be nice. Nice chrome. Like paint this like how we did the oil the oil filter. Alright, since so you put this in, you gotta do the distributor. This makes sense. Ah crud. Put the wrong one in. Uh, I make mistakes, I'm human. I did it again! Wow! See how this build's going to be going. I just hope it runs when I'm done. There, now we got the right one in. Put the cap on. And then Eclipse. Oh yeah, it looks alright. Let's get the front cover on anyway. Head number one. Sixteen eight per side. I kind of wish we had to put the valve springs on too, put the valves in. And normally what I do when I install these, I go from back to front. And then when I put the rockers on, I go from front to back. When it lines up. Oh, problematic today. Wow. I'm gonna mess with my tools. Not sure how it would feel if I actually had to torque everything down to spec. Really like real life at that point. Now the plugs. 
four per side, make eight. Yeah, let's put the water pump on it. We're rotating back to the other side. And we can put the water pump pulley on. And wait for the supercharger to get put on. Oh, I wish my cursor would go a little bit faster. Probably not going to be a long video tonight, it's probably going to be a short one. Although with all the mistakes I'm making, it's probably going to be a fair decent long one. But like I said in the last video, I can only do maximum of, of 60 minutes, so i got to make the 60 minutes count. If I don't paint anything on the car and I put it together, I can do it in about 40 40, 42 minutes, IRL, and if I paint everything, I'm looking at about 58, 59 minutes, IRL. Alright, now the plugs for this side, and after that it'll be the wires, and then I put the exhaust manifolds on, I'll finish this side. Oh, there's the wires. It just makes it a little bit more authentic. Now the Uber charger. The belt. And I'll put the crank pulley on. I'll do power steering and alternator belt then the fan alright what I'll do is I'll put the carbs and the, everything like everything on the top half of it I'll put that on when it's in the car time to rock and roll 100% which it's not because it's missing two, three, four, five pieces. All right, let's see. Make the power steering pump, the reservoir, I mean. Pump's already on the car down there. Make the radiator. Oh, I see I had a few of them. Okay. Uh-oh. What about one of them? Huh. I guess we know what happened to that thought, right? Right out the window. Now, I do believe I have to buy this bad boy. Fuse box base A or B, which means the lid's going to be the same. But, I don't know, these blocks, i got to paint that anyway. So, a little bit on the electronics. Skip a page, and it's right here, second row, first and third. And then we go over here. Run, 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 run. Right here, nice and simple. Oh, that don't look too bad. Alright, almost there. See, I'm actually going to make them go to white. Not this time. I believe it's this carbs, breathers, well, carb filters. If it were from the blower, well, it's already on the car. some of them for the next car. Yep, 
Well, I normally do these black or red because it's a little easier to see at that point. Alright, start off the engine, put the oil in. washer, fluid jug, put some fluid in it, put some of the blue goo in, only fill it up to the line right there, out of the power steering reservoir, fill it up to the max line, alright, perfect. The radiator, fill that up until it starts spewing out. That's how you know it's full. Right there, perfect. Wipe it off. Okay, and go to the brake reservoir. Master cylinder. Which I don't understand the reason why they never called it a master cylinder in this. So it's a brake servo. Let me fill that up to the line right there. See, max line, minimal line. If you run out the minimal, it will not let you take the car off the lot. You can start it, let it run. Alright, now we put the carbs on. Wish we could paint these. Turn the red to, you know, either the block color, the oil pan color, the filters on. Put the scoop, oh yeah, I actually put the right one. The scoop on. Ooh, schnazzy. Lift the car, do the tranny, drive shaft, and starter. Send her to the dyno. This one I think I'm going to keep. I don't think I have another roll out. I could, but I'm pretty sure this is my only one. Alright, to the dyno. And it's probably going to make about 900. Somewhere between 900 and 1,000, if I had to guess. Nope, just let the car in here for looks. Definitely going to be a tire shredder at 1,300 foot-pounds of torque. That's pretty close. Right on the straight smack dab in the middle, 950. It's 949, but I said between 900 and 1,000. That's not bad. Alright, perfect. You know what? My truck's not over here, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. Well, this one I'm going to put back in the garage. It looks beautiful. Wish I could put bigger wheels on it, but I never, I never gave it a wheel alignment and I think I don't plan on driving it. So we'll hit move car, parking. Let's take the truck and go to the junkyard and see what's going on in there. Doesn't sound right. I like it's 
starting to break up. To the junkyard we go. Again, this is what I hate about these games, is the loading factor. It takes forever to load. Also too, since we're waiting, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, on my YouTube channel, Andrew Franklin. Alright, let's take a little stroll around the junkyard, see what's all here. Nothing. Nothing. And this, whatever, if we find anything here today, then it'll be the next video that we build it. Ooh. GTR 35. Huh. 21,000. Holy smokes. It's kind of steep considering the amount of work I'm going to have to put into it. What's this? Me, me. No, it's not Herbie. Alante Easy. Electric vehicle. Don't think so. Getting over Get out of there. Oh. Dang pile. Gotta learn how to walk. Anything over here? Is that only two cars? Huh. Well, seriously, only two cars. The GTR. Really? Huh. Normally there's three in here. This one and the EV right there. EV must have scared all the other ones away. It's gonna catch fire! I'm just kidding. They have been having problems with those. And you got officials that are covering it up. It's weird. It's not a conspiracy theory. Check the news articles out yourself. It's weird. Nothing. Huh. You know what? We will buy this one. Twenty-one thousand is a lot of a lot of simoleons, but we'll make our money back. Alright, we got the V6 dual overhead cam VR38 DETT, which is TT stands for Twin Turbo. Twin Turb Skis. And the car's not going to make a whole lot of power. Alright, to the garage it goes, and so do we. Faster. Loading, loading, loading. Alright, 
right, what we'll do is we'll paint it, or not paint it, we'll bring it to the car wash, clean it up, put it inside the shop, and get it ready for the next day. Like I said, it's going to be a short video this time around, as far as I know anyway. The car wash, we go. Oh, it's a white car. Would have ever thunk. In the interior, I look all spiffy, spiffy, spaffy. Now we spray it. Magical power. Oh, wait, is that silver or white? looks white, but at the same time it looks like it could be a pearl, maybe, the green fender, and another green fender, and a green door, at least to match the door and the fender, must have found them at the junkyard, I don't understand how a car with only 67,000 miles, and it's a 2008, looks like this. People better, better want to take better care of their stuff. Wow. Car lifter A. But that's going to do it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Andrew Franklin. And see you on the next one. Have yourself a good one.